In the heart of the Caucasus is the country of Georgia, one of the few places in the world where transhumance is still alive. Seasonal movements of sheep between summer and winter pastures follow routes determined by the seasons and the growth of the grass. They have been trodden for millennia and remain vital for the livestock keepers of Georgia. The migration starts from winter pastures near the Azerbaijan border. The route goes west and splits into several branches, north to the Greater Caucasus and south to the grassy plateaus of the Lesser Caucasus. Over 500,000 sheep travel the route each year, going up in spring and coming down in early autumn. It is a journey exposed to weather, disease and wolves. The weak do not survive and it takes experience born of generations of knowledge to herd them there and back. Çöyünün Dokuper <gülüyor> David will make the journey again, as he does every year. As a head shepherd, he is responsible for taking the flock of 6,000 sheep to the summer pastures by the Turkish border. The flock is split into three smaller flocks, each minded by several shepherds. <laughs> David is hired by Vaja Gonishvili, one of the biggest sheep keepers of the region. In turn, David hires regular shepherds. Smaller scale flocks also make the route from all over Georgia, 
usually guided by their owners, smaller farmers. David is Georgian, but all his shepherds are Azeri, for whom looking after sheep is a traditional way of life. David will be living and sleeping in his Uaz truck, driving alongside his shepherds who will walk, as his knees will not allow him to walk the route anymore. Sheep are dipped to control the diseases spread by external parasites. Chemicals are added to the water and the sheep swim through. All the regional flocks, some of whom come for miles, come to the dip before making the trip to the high pastures. The shepherds pay one sheep per thousand who pass through. Jashi <laughs> I 
Infrastructure along the route is basic. In the Soviet Union, the route was maintained by the state, but very little has been done since then. The old fordways have now broken and made the route more difficult to travel. The surface of the route itself and crossing places like this are getting worse every year. Located in the shallowest part of a dangerous crossing, the lack of a serviceable bridge means that all flocks must pass this way through the mud. Backed by the Shepherds Association, moves are afoot to renovate the route's infrastructure, but progress is slow. The mud in the passing place is deep and the sheep are afraid. They will only cross if there is someone to follow, but even the goats, their usual leaders, won't do it. Luckily, the cows will, and they lead the flock across. The next flock will find the crossing easier, as each time a flock passes through, the sheep carry away a small amount of mud on their fleece. Brothers Achliman and Ismail will bring their families with them to the summer pasture camp, as is traditional for Azeris, while David will go alone, his wife and children remaining behind at home in the village. Today the herd is arriving at Yor Muhanlo, Achliman and Ismail's village, and home of most of the Azerbaijani shepherds in the region. Achliman, Ismail, and their father live next door to each other sharing the same piece of land.
Their father and Ismail have houses. Achliman's has yet to be built. But now, as he has joined David's team, he's looking forward to using his wages to start construction. While the older generation has settled as shepherds, Ismail's son Oktay dreams of being a mechanic in Tbilisi. Yet now he prepares again for the journey to the summer pastures. He will be herding, tending and guarding the sheep together with his father, as he has done since he started to walk. His mother makes him a sleeping bag for his nights in the open. <laughs> Rustavi is a major industrial city developed in the 1950s during Stalin's industrialization process. It's a city of tower blocks and six-lane highways near Tbilisi, the capital. A very busy road links the two, cutting across the sheep migration route. Invaded by the river of sheep every spring and autumn, the local police attempt to maintain order. <laughs> Sami. <laughs>
ყოველი წლის ამ დროს ეტაპობრივად სეზონურად ხდება წყლის ფარების გადარება. თბილისი შემოსავლელ გზის 52 კილომეტრზე არის გზაგამტარი ხიდი, სადაც მოძრაობ სატრანსპორტო საშუალებიც და საქონელიც. საგზაო სატრანსპორტო შემთხვევა, როდესაც ავტომანქანა ახდენს შეჯახებას ან ქვეიცი, ან პირუტყვზე, ან ავტომანქანაზე. ასეც საგზაო სატრანსპორტო შემთხვევებზე ჩვენ საპატრულო პოლიცია ვიღებთ შესაბამი ზომებს. The main town on the route is Marniuli, home to the largest livestock market in the region. The route passes directly by the market and many shepherds use the opportunity to sell some sheep here. After the market, the route cuts past a new landfill site, favoured by vultures and local cattle. It is part of the ongoing encroachment on and near the route that makes it harder every year for the shepherds. After Marniuli, the route becomes a clear strip of land, a hundred meters wide. Some parts have been narrowed and blocked by the land of local farmers. It causes annual disputes between the shepherds and the local residents. Today's shepherds inherited the route from Soviet shepherds, who in turn used the same routes their ancestors have followed for centuries. The herds stop for the night near Chayishi. The flocks are hungry, but the route is already overgrazed, and David has no choice but to let the sheep graze on neighboring pasture. There will be a price to be paid, a lamb per thousand sheep. The owner of the land, who makes a tidy income every year, arrives to claim his due. <coughs> Ah, 
Yesterday, it seems the shepherds paid the wrong man, someone masquerading as the owner on the chance of getting a lamb, as the real owner arrives to take his due. The route is surrounded by villages, roads and private lands. Since the fall of the Soviet Union, it has suffered a lot from incursions of locals and big businesses. It can no longer supply grazing lands, resting and watering places as it once did. The problem of shepherds versus locals reaches its peak in Tsintskarol village, where the route passes directly through the houses. A village kindergarten is located right on the main street where sheep pass. Twice a year, the villagers live with a tide of sheep passing past their gates. There are three main products from the sheep keeping industry, meat, cheese and wool. While cheese and meat seem to find buyers both abroad and in Georgia, wool has until recently remained mostly unsold. The large wool processing factory of Soviet times was shut down. For a long time, wool was only sold locally in small amounts, washed by women and sorted for making into mattresses. The rest was stored or left to rot in the fields. Now, however, there are signs of revival, as demand grows from Azerbaijan and Turkey, both major manufacturers of carpets for greasy wool. 
The Tushuri and Imeruli breeds of sheep have coarse wool, which is unsuited for clothing, but is good for carpet making. Small entrepreneurs are starting to collect wool from farmers. Zauri Kulievi from Marnioli is maybe the only major buyer in the country, exporting wool abroad. Now past the main settlements, the route ascends. The climb and distance begin to take its toll. The oldest and weakest tend to die in a natural thinning, leaving only the strongest to reproduce. There is no carcass disposal service on the route. Dead animals are consumed by shepherd dogs, as well as by scavengers such as jackals, local dogs, foxes and vultures. Igi bevoktak, bekhla dadi an ezebe, ravi prasa sa paulo ben sot khalje bevo povi, ta tova khadra tikhe be ravi, ozebni. Ez nabare bi konda nem si ga uke tetsma mainz, ega dar se da mukuda ga. Ama zaglep sa chot sa. Ek zina para gushin der gushin zina param gaiara, ma ima sa tadai ma ukuda ga da 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 ukuda ga. Disease represents another challenge for the shepherds. There are anthrax outbreaks in the livestock and human population every year in Georgia. The anthrax spores themselves are present in the soil of the root. But not only sheep die on the move. Here, by Tabatskuri Lake, lightning killed a young shepherd last night on the next hilltop from Ismail's camp. The plateau is largely populated by Armenians. This does not make the migration easy for the Azeri shepherds due to the ongoing enmity between the two nations. But having David, a Georgian, as head shepherd, has made things easier for the brothers. <laughs> I was 
ახალ ქალაქის რაიონია სოფელი ალასტანია მან დასახლება ერთ 16 სოფელია ეს აზერბაიჯანელ ხალხი ამ წევსები და ერთ მომენტში ჩხუვი მოდოდა კაჩაღოვა მიდოდა არჩვენდნენ ცხვარს ძროხას და მე რაღარ დადიოდნენ ესენი ნუ ახლა მან და არიან მეგობრები არიან მაგაცები არიან პრობლემ არ არის ხოლმე მაინც მიდიან ეუნებიან ერთ ცხვარი მომეცი ბიჟა ვიკები და ისინი დავკლადო იქეიფებთ მაგრამ მე მან და საახლოვე უნდა თვითონ ჩემი სოფლი ჩემი თანაკლასელი მან და ცხოვრობს იმ ძოთ აი მისი ხაფერთი იმ მისი ამბავი და არა მე არაფერს არ მეუნებია რა The Armenian village Alastani which was once considered too dangerous to go through is now safe as David has negotiated a passage by using private connections and presenting sheep to locals. This earth house belongs to Bagrati and Maya. friends of David's their livelihood is based on cows and the cheese they sell from their mill While they live in the mountains, their children live with grandparents in the city. Conditions are harsh here and nature more apparent, even dangerous. Last year wolves killed a horse in the stable. Rad devisis. Padro shen zamtarshit da zapkhur sakha khar no. Me marto zapkhur shemodiva. ოდი ჩვენ შრომას გაომოროს ჩვენ საქმიანობას გაომოროს რა ვარ შენი ძროხას გამრავლებული იყოს ცხვარის გამრავლებული იყოს სიყვარული ყოფილი იყოს აი ჩვენ საქმიანობას გაომორო შენ შენ სიყვარული გამორო შენ საქმიანობა გამრავლებული იყოს მე ჩემი საქმიანობა გამორო ჩვენ ცხვარი გამრავლებული იყოს აი ცილებლა ჩვენ გერმატოლ ჩიდღია თეთი მოდიან მიდიან მე თქმა ჯანმრთელობა არ მოგაკლო გამრავლებული იყოს თქვენი ცხვარი ძმო The sheep have reached the summer pasture, but the migration is not yet over. The families along with all their belongings for the four-month camp are on the move. Vaja Gonishvili, the owner, provides a Kamas truck to transport the women and children. The truck has been traveling all night long and 10 hours on from leaving their village they make the final vertiginous ascent to the pasture where their husbands sons and fathers are waiting Hey, 
Hemşe, hemşe kardeşim. Buraya tay ya, bu buranı var ya, bu buranı var. Ben sakmadım da. 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 The tents will serve as their homes until in late September, the shepherds embark once again on the way back to their winter homes. Teltre gibi bur saçım ele cüce ele tasaçım ele rahat sahiras cüce besin kaygıtı bu. Ay çarptı bu. Umurcuba da işte bir lokma. Life in the summer camp begins, and wool sheared in the camps is used to produce traditional carpets in Azeri communities. Navata Anazarova is the most skilled carpet maker of Kosalar village. She manages several women working on looms in their homes. From the wool they wash in the river, coloured with natural dyes from peach, mulberry and pomegranate leaves, they produce traditional carpets sold later in the capital.
This part of the industry is also slowly reviving, thanks to a few entrepreneurs in the tourism industry. Çem Kay kardeş, bu çem kalk mıdır? Çem balgı mıdır? Çem kugu bize bir çem kalk mıdır? Ra, romidis kalk. Diğeri sırası video. Niye? Karşı sadi ya. Harabi ne karar? Sen abi biz kalk sen kalk. Martla sevdi. Çoğu modlar şu kabloyu bir modlar Ramazan, Juan ne bir Romit var. Ama es. Martla tirs ra, ta tirs ro, cem kalk. 